I don't remember if I mentioned this in another video for Spider-Man toys, but he's kind of taken a popularity hit with me in the last few years. Uh, the comic book kind of went down the toilet. And the movies were all pretty bad. Basically, the only Spider-Man movie I liked was the first one. I mean, you could say part two was good, but I, I thought they dropped the ball on Dr. Octopus, because he's supposed to be an irredeemable asshole from the beginning, not, you know, Peter Parker's sensitive college teacher. I thought that was dumb, but... This is back when I really loved Spider-Man. Like, 1990 and... The mid-90s when I was super hardcore into comic books. Not like I'm not now, but I just kind of dropped buying most new comic books. So this is back from a happier time when Spider-Man was still awesome to me. What we got here is a 1990 Toy Biz Spider-Man action figure with web sucking action gotta love that name right there comes with a little web and little suction hand suction cups on his hands uh while cleaning this figure one of them fell off i had to glue it back on let's check him out not bad kind of a blocky bulky looking mold for spider-man who's really not supposed to be this diesel check him out i like him What's cool about this figure is Toy Biz also had the DC Comics figures at the time. So you had a two-scale Superman for him to fight with. Even though Spider-Man is not supposed to be bigger and more muscular, making Superman look like he's about 5 foot 8 and, and Spider-Man looking like he's about 6 foot 3, but that's cool. Much better relation than 1984 Superpowers versus Secret Wars Spider-Man. They weren't that compatible, but you always tried to make them fight. Yeah, about six years later, I'm still playing with figures, but I wasn't supposed to remember that Superman. Cool stuff. A few years later, the animated series. Toy Biz got better at making figures, because look at, look at all this movement on them. I think this is from 1994. Look how many joints he's got. You can pose like crazy. In all sorts of cool Spider-Man poses. These are all my Spider-Man figures. This! Alright, I didn't get this when I was a kid. I got this while I was working at Toys R Us. And, uh, I stole it. Like most of the action figures I had bought from back then. That was 20 years ago, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I used to take figures, but who cares? Don't judge me. Let's get in there, take a closer peek at him. Paint apps. I mean, I give him credit. They got like all of his webbing in. Mine's still in fairly good condition. Probably because I got him when I was like 13. I just kind of opened the package, looked at them, put them on my shelf. I was still reading comics pretty damn heavy at the time. In fact, that's probably when I was at my heaviest of comic book reading, other than, like, right now. Paint apps on this one kind of rubbed off. But, you know, look at the construction of this dude. It's based on the the the, car, the cartoon series at the time, so he's a little bit more cartoon toony looking in his physique. But yeah, this is so Spider Man y. This is a badass. Between the two, I still kind of like this one better, only because he's compatible with more figures. This is just kind of compatible with you know, the rest of that Spider-Man collection. And their scale was all over the place. They didn't really have that much attention to detail with, you know, all the rest of the figures. I've seen other figures from the collection, and he's a lot bigger and lankier. As a toy collector, you can have him, like I showed earlier, you can have him mingle with your DC collection. 
from Toy Biz, or even your Superpowers collection. I'll probably go a little bit deeper onto Secret Wars in a later video. We'll, we'll save him for later. Look, he sticks to the oven. Awesome. Finally a Spider-Man figure that actually climbs walls. And this Spider-Man can do dynamic poses like the devil horns of metal. Slayer rules. Here's the Randy Orton pose. Gangnam style. Alright, here's some controversy. I don't care about the new Spider-Man movie coming out. That said, I'll see it uh, opening day or probably that 10 o'clock on the Thursday before opening. But, you know, I'm a nerd, so what the hell? Gotta see it. doesn't quite stick to the refrigerator well after almost 30 years. Yeah! <laughs>